Hey guys, and uh, welcome to these new ways of bringing a topic videos. So the topic that we chose to look into today is transsexuality. Yeah, I needed to look that word up. <laughs> um, so what it what it means is this is for the people who are born a boy or born a girl and want to be the different sex and they don't feel comfortable in how they're created. So there is a lot of uh, medical reasons behind that and we have heard a lot about that but I would just love to take the energy of that as a collective and tell how it feels from the inside. Maybe this goes out to some of you guys' parents or some of you guys' who friends or maybe even yourself who can feel recognition in what I say or maybe not. So if you are one of these people, one of these souls sitting there having this feeling of being in the wrong embodiment, please let me know if you feel the courage to it, how what I say feels to you and if it resonates on any level. So transsexual. Okay, let's go. It is like wakening up in a body which is not yours. It is like having this feeling of sensuality, of a flow which is not flowing with the body that you are moving within. You look in the mirror in the morning and it, it feels as if, as if something is missing. You can look yourself in the eyes and you know that this is you. But when you see the whole structure around you, surrounding you, it doesn't feel as a part of the being that you are. You start to feel these attractions to, uh, to people and, and walking around in society and no matter, no matter how your body is responding, it is as if your emotional system is not in align with the, with the way that your body is moving. It is as if your inner attraction <laughs> doesn't fit the way that your body is created. You step into this part of property where your body starts taking form and shape as, as the being that you are sent here to be. But there is this part within you that just it doesn't align with it. It, it. it is as if you are even some some of this energy are even in resistance of that body, wanna hide it away or wanna train it into a shape or a form that looks more like how you feel that you are. So it is this inner identity struggle as a constant. And as a constant is also an outside identity struggle because you need to uh, function in society. They see you as something which you do not feel yourself self at. So how can you ever feel seen if what the world sees is not how you feel? Stepping out of that energy. Um, I would like to add something to you guys, all of you guys. So when we are, we are all souls incarnating in different timelines, different souls, different <laughs> times, different places. We, a lot of us have been multiple genders. So you can be a guy in our past life. It doesn't really matter. What matters is the shape and the form you choose to take in this uh, incarnation but we have energetic vibration as female masculine and some people have more of one than the other if you come from a place where you have had like a very soft energy very female energy and you put that with you into this body embodiment there's so much of you there in a connection with being that energy there's so much of you there in connection with that mother side uh, being Throw down to a verb reality that may be too harsh for you to fully surrender to take part in the masculinity. And there you have the trouble. So there is this whole part of you being that don't want wish to integrate the masculine side of your existence. And there's this whole part of you that remember the female aspect so deeply that you can only realign with that. This doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you or that you were created wrong. You were created exactly the way you were supposed to do. 
to who's supposed to be. But this means that you feel a disalignment. And if you want to help yourself to feel more in balance, it is just for you to look inside of yourself and get to know yourself in the form of what energy is floating around me, inside of me. Being conscious about that there's nothing wrong with being the way you are or the way that you feel. And even if you would have the feminine in a masculine body or the masculine in a feminine body, what do you call it? Woman body, <laughs> embodiment, still nothing wrong with you. If you choose to not get the operations and etc., you can still be you within that embodiment. So it all starts with you just feeling into how you can feel the most free within yourself in the time being on our planet. And if for you the, the answer is to uh, change genders, gen genders, gen genders. <laughs> or for you as a parent, if it is the choice of your, your kid, there is still nothing wrong with this. Everything is a part of a process, it's a part of expansion, it's a part of realigned with oneself in different shapes and different forms. So if that is your kid or yourself or your friends true in their calling and they feel that that is what will make them happy, there is a part of them that need to go that direction to really realize what truly matters. When they stand there, maybe some of them will realize that that is not what truly matters, that, that self-love comes from a different space, different place but they would need to walk that line in order of realizing if that is what they need or not, as long as they feel that in their calling. If you are sitting at home trying to figure out what to do, <laughs> what choices to make, you could ask yourself, what would make me happy truly inside? Is it to change gender or is it to learn to love myself just the way I was created. Thank you guys for watching and for you guys who are in this gender confusion kind of thing. I would really love for you to share a part of you, uh, how this felt for you, how it feels for you to be you. And I also want to thank you for being here. Because your existence <laughs> brings so much perspective to our creation in that moment, in this moment. Your perception, your struggles, your break, break free-ness <laughs> helps us to see outside of the box. And this time in life is all about recreation, restructuring and relearning acceptance and loving each other for each other's differences. So because you are so different, you help this world change. So I want to thank you, all of you, very much. And I will talk with you soon. Namaste. <laughs>